Lamont Murray is our special guest. He played in the NBA. He, he played uh, at, at Cal Berkeley, and he was just a great player. And guess what? He's from Pasadena. That's what's uh, so mar marvelous about him, that he's a local, and he's giving back to the community. And we really appreciate him coming today. And, and he's going to speak with you guys. And so here's Lamont. You guys had a good day today? Yeah! Yeah, that's good. Um, like Cherie said, I, I played uh, 13 years in the NBA, five years with the Clippers, three with Cleveland, uh, three in Toronto, and one in New Jersey. Uh, I was born here in Pasadena. I stayed here till I was uh, eight years old. I moved to the Bay Area. Uh, did a lot of moving, San Jose, Fremont. Stayed a lot uh, of years in California. Like I said, I came back down here, with, went, I went to Cal for, for three years, and I came down here, was drafted by the LA Clippers, uh, seventh uh, pick in 1994. Uh, some of the guys that I played with are, that are still out there playing, and Jason Kidd, who was a teammate of mine, so he's still out there running around. I'll be 40 next week, so that's to give you an idea how old I am. And like I said, uh, I got uh, two kids who are in high school. What are some of the things you guys think you learned from today's camp that you can take with you and uh, work on on your own? How many of you in here are really serious about playing ball in the high school level? I see a lot of kids here. Pretty much everybody, right? So what do you think some of the steps are going to be for you to be able to play at the next level since you're starting here today? Uh, you came here, uh, you got some skills, you got some knowledge. You learned some fundamentals today. Can anybody name some of the things that you think you can do that's going to work on your game to where you'll be able to play, say, high school ball? Defense. defense. And how would you learn about doing defense? What you learn today that you can take with you uh, that's going to help you defensively? Mm, don't stay off your person. Don't stay off your person. Good. Young lady. Mm, Huh? Layups. You learned about layups today? So what did you learn about layups that you can take back with you and work on? Making it. Making it. What are some things you can do to make it? Focus. Focus. Good. She mentioned it. Focus. That's one thing I like to talk to you guys about. Whenever I come out and I talk to the kids that are in high school, those are our words to make focus. Focus. You can add on that. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Cooper. <laughs> and some of you, I know Coop for years. Uh, and when he played the Lakers, we, we battled many times in the summer league, and in the league, in the NBA. And uh, you guys had the privilege of having some great coaches out here helping you out today. And uh, as, as, as you know as well, and Cherie, she played a long time as well. And she has a, a lot of knowledge that she wants to give to you all. And uh, just, I just want to be part of it by coming out here and just talking to you in a short time. That way you guys can have something to take back besides what you've learned here on the court. Uh, when we talk about focus, focus is everything. You know, focus is what's going to help you achieve any goal that you have set for yourself, even if it's not on the basketball court. You've got to stay focused, and you have to focus now. You can't wait until you already graduate from high school and say, you know what, I think I want to get focused. You build a foundation right now. This is what you did today. Everything you worked on today was building a foundation for your basketball game. Same thing like you build a foundation in school, right? You learn your arithmetic, and you go on to division, multiplication, all those different things, right? That's all building the foundation for you to be successful in the future. And you have to do that by focusing now. You want to continue education. And one thing you'll learn is by being focused, Today, focus all day, every day, thinking about things, thinking about your future, thinking about what I'm going to do five years from now. You've got to have a vision as well. You have to look forward to the next two years. You've got to prepare for that. You have to know and ask questions. Some of you are very young. Please don't be afraid to ask questions. That's why I was thinking, and I had hands raised. I want to ask questions about you. I want to learn about you. The more I know about you, the more I'm going to learn about myself. The more I can get from you, the more it's going to help me. I don't know everything. I'm 40 years old. I don't know everything. I'm still learning. 
I ask questions all the time. These people that are older than me, smarter than me, it's always great to ask questions. Don't be afraid to do that. Even in the classroom, raise your hand if you have a question. If you get confused about anything, raise your hand if you have a question. Anybody confused about anything you learned today? When we were dribbling, I used my fingertips when I dribbled. No? You don't remember that? <laughs> were you confused at all? No? You know? Huh? You got it all figured out? That's right. You focused, right? You focused? Focus. Good. Focus on me. Focus on your coaches. Focus on the classroom. Focus on your parents. And I want you all to be able to say thank you to your parents for bringing you out here. Uh, I'm a parent. There's parents in here. And we try and do what's best for our children at all times. And I, I'd like to always uh, have you know you acknowledge that you really thank them for bringing you here today. They had a lot of things they could have been doing on a Saturday morning. You know, besides, hey, I'm going to go drop you off at the basketball gym and work on some stuff. So I want you guys to all give a round of applause to your parents. That's what it's all about, too. Not only focusing and staying appreciative, but also acknowledging to those that you love and not acknowledging to those that care for you that you do appreciate uh, the time that they take out and the effort that they make to make sure you stay on the right path and you're doing the right things. Uh, any questions from me as a, as a former player, uh, some of the players I may have played against, uh, for what I, I consider the era that I played in, um, 94, 2005, uh, one of the, 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 the best eras there was in basketball, and a chance to play against some of the greats. Michael Jordan, to a young 18-year-old Kobe Bryant when he first came to the league, to the Kevin Garnett when he first came to the league, to being able to you know, see LeBron play against him and Dwayne Wade, who, who, of course, who, who are driving the game right now. You guys have any questions for me uh, from a player standpoint? Uh, how many points did you score per game? Uh, over a career average, 11 points a game, which is double figures for me. Uh, Throughout my career, some I started for about half of my career, and the other half came off the bench. So I had a myriad of ups and downs throughout the league, and, and, and that's in life in general. So you know, but you know, I stayed the course and, and tried to do necessary things, focusing on what I wanted to, to, <coughs> to gain from from my experience. Mike, what, yes. what allowed you to? come back every year and play at a certain level. I mean, what was your, your motivation? Or, or who were your mentors? Or were they important to you? Or, or what, what allowed you to get to that level and allowed you to play for such a long period of time? Uh, you know, when we talk about focus, a lot of people think that, you know, focusing might mean me going to the gym with others. Okay? There's always a court, there's always a gym, somewhere that you can go and focus. I learned at an early age that it didn't take me, my buddy, a couple of my friends to go to the park and for me to work on my skills. So I think that was a big reason why I was able to play such a long time. Uh, even after the coaches were gone, they're only going to be there a couple hours a day. They have to split their time amongst you know, 15 individuals. Their efforts amongst those 15 individuals only for a couple hours a day. So you're only going to get one fifteenth of their time and their knowledge for those couple of hours. You have umpteenth amount of hours during the day that you can focus and, and, and work on your own game by yourself. And I think that's what sets a lot of players apart. Uh, when you talk about Kevin Durant, he talks about they talk about all the time. He's there till the lights go out. He's working on his game. And many people think he's sitting there with a coach. And the coach passes the ball. And that's not the case. And many a times I went in the gym and I. I I look forward to going into an empty gym. That way I can focus on my shot, focus on my ball handling, focus on things that I wanted to visualize what's going to happen in the game the next day. Um, so I think that was a big reason, uh, thanks for that question, uh, for me being able to play such a long time. Uh, I also played uh, four more years after I played in the NBA, played in China and the Middle East. So uh, played about 16 years uh, professional basketball. Any other questions?
Good question, good question. Because if you look at it from an individual standpoint, uh, I had some of my best years in Cleveland. Uh, from a team standpoint, we had a good year when I was in uh, New Jersey. We uh, had won a uh, Atlantic Division title. We lost to Shaq and Wade in 2005 uh, when they won the championship. And uh, you know, as a team, that was my best team uh, effort that I played on. Uh, but as a whole, you know, I think uh, you know you go through ups and downs. It's just about what we come back to: refocusing, focusing on the next season, focus on getting better, focusing on uh, what I need to do to eat right. I talked to the young lady here earlier. What did you say earlier? What did you eat for breakfast? Jack in the box. <laughs> Who else had Jack in the box? I cooked my breakfast. There you go. What you cook today? Eggs and grits. Eggs and grits? Ooh, you went old school. Man, that's <laughs> uh, I just wanted to touch on that a little bit. Uh, I'm 40 years old now, and the nutrition has always been a key to success for me. I've had Jack in the Box. Now, don't get me wrong, I had the McDonald's, I had all that. But you really have to understand that, you know, what you fuel in your body is really going to affect what you're doing in the classroom and as well as after school, okay? It's going to affect your focus on tests. It's going to affect your focus after school when you're in the gym working out with your team. So, you know, think about what you're putting in your body. Try and eat as healthy as possible. Um, you know, I know it's hard, but, you know, you can do it if you really focus on it, okay? <laughs> Inspired me to play basketball. Um, you know that's a good question too. I have a, a, a basically come from a basketball family. Um, I had an uncle who actually uh, played here in Pasadena. Great player, played for the great John. Uh, my 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 grandmother's here right now. She's over here. Uh, she came here to, to wait, Grandma. To talk to, to watch me speak. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Carson, a great player. He, 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 he was a great inspiration for me. Uh, my dad as well, he played here in Pasadena. Uh, I had cousins who played uh, Tracy Murray, who was, who was from Pasadena, and he ended up playing in Laverne, Lutheran, and Laverne, and uh, in Medora High School. But he's originally from Pasadena. He played 13 years in the NBA, so come from a basketball family, so the inspiration was always around us. You know, I can remember being like six, seven years old in the gym, always, you know, always in the gym. You know, it's, sometimes I go to the gym now just <laughs> because I don't know anything else but the gym. I go to the gym, the Spectrum Club, and I'll just sit in the gym, <coughs> sit there for two hours, and, you know, we'll, we'll talk and, and play some ball. I rebounding from my position, I played small forward. So, uh, Six seven. We got two guys with two guards. We got guys with six ten. Kevin Durant, six ten, six eleven, playing you know small forward, two guard position. So don't get caught up in you know I'm tall and I'm just gonna stand in the middle of the paint and put my hands up. You want to be a basketball player, okay? You want to develop all your basketball skills. That's the, that's the name of the game now. I was blessed to be able to, to play point guard at my high school. I, I did a little bit of everything. I posted up, I played point guard, and helped me in the long run. Because I wasn't just pigeonholed into one position. And that goes for the ladies right here, too. Work on all your skills. Work on your shooting. Work on your attack game. Just don't have them pigeonhole you because you're tall. Okay? You don't say, oh, you just get a center, you go stand in the middle, and, hey, we might get you the ball. Go get the ball. Okay? That's what my dad taught me. I, if I'm getting the rebound down here, I don't have to give it up to the point guard. You don't want to throw me the ball in the post? I don't want to throw you the ball in the perimeter. I'll bring the ball away the court. So work on that in the summer. Work on bringing the ball away the court. Work on attacking and, and, and making the right play, you know? Just don't say, you know, I'm just going to do what everybody wants me to do and go stand in the middle of the paint or stand on the post and, 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 and uh, not get any action. I have a question. What players in the NBA today you feel remind you of yourself? Oh man, we were talking about that the other day. Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, I was watching Carmelo, and when he 
first came in the league, not saying I was a, as good as a scorer as he is, but he, uh, some of the ways that he scores on the floor are some of the same ways, similar to what, you know, the way I would score uh, during my NBA career, uh, putting the ball in my left hand a lot, posting up, mixing it up, hitting threes, hitting uh, some mid-range step backs and stuff. So uh, I would, you know, I would think that, you know, just the way he plays the game is similar to the way that I, I, I play. Who, who do you think, uh, as far as talent-wise, at, at their age when they came to the league, uh, was the best? Uh, Jordan, Kobe, or LeBron? The people are constantly comparing. You know, everybody's like, who do you think is the best? Who do you think is the best? Since you played with them, who do you think? I never got a chance to play against Mike when he first came to the league. I know he was a monster, but when you think of a kid, when you think of a Kobe Bryant or a LeBron James, and they're like, it's, you know, they're aging some of the kids that you, do, that you see in high school, 18 years old, coming into the NBA and coming in and, and making a presence and dominating. I know Kobe struggled for his first two years, even though he had you know, the skill level that, you know, most people would think. But I know when LeBron came in, he dominated at 18 years old. He was on the floor getting 20, 22 points, 30, 40 points at 18 years old. But, you know, with great competition on the floor, not wanting an 18-year-old to come in and do anything, you know, trying to embarrass him as much as he possibly could. But, you know, he's that right. He was, you know, he was a no-brainer. So I think you know, LeBron, from the age standpoint, coming in. <laughs> Excuse me? How big is Shaq compared to me? He makes me look really small. <laughs> right now I'm about 260 pounds. So you add a whole another 100 pounds on him in shape. Ooh, wow. Not saying how big he is, I don't know how big he is now, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact. Uh, about seven foot one, seven foot two. Big, wide, strong, and athletic. You can bring the ball up the court, you can grab off the rim, bring it up, and dunk on people and all that. Yes. <laughs> no, I didn't get a chance to play with him. Uh, you know, he came in right after I, I, I was done playing, but uh, he's a dynamic jumper, dynamic player. You know, I wish somebody could help him with his footwork, but you know, that's something to figure out. Yeah, I dunked on Yao Ming. <laughs> I got a chance to dunk on Yao Ming. I couldn't believe it. Seven foot six. You know how big that is? So Shaq's seven one. So I had another couple of inches that. To be, he's, he's probably a little taller, but I think Yao was a little bit uh, sturdier. He's a bigger, bigger frame. His calves were about this big. Ooh. And his hand was about that big. Yeah, I was an all. I played on the All Star team uh, my first, my rookie year. So it was like a rookie All Star team. Uh, we got a chance to go to All Star game, perform in front of everybody. I never uh, got a chance to be on the All Star team after that. Of course. Who? Uh -huh. My new bow, yeah. The King Baby Mutombo, you see him in that commercial? Oh! Yeah, hey, I got him, I don't know how many times I got that guy. I love him though. I him a couple times. One more question. Yeah, I mean, they're all great players at their position. So when you start picking them out of position like that, it's hard, you know, they all play, they all great at the position, but I think in terms of players right now, I really like uh, Kobe and I'm really upset that he got hurt the other night. You know, hopefully, you know, the injury's not too serious and he'll be back, but, yeah. Um, what I understand, he blew his Achilles out, which is a tremendous injury in the game of basketball. Hey, thank you all for your time. I was, I was glad you all came out and you spent Saturday afternoon with the coaches.
following rules is so important. Okay? Now we're gonna give out the awards. Wait up. Turn around so we can take a picture of you. Look at your numbers if you have tickets. 804922 Oh, you're in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you're in. 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 Oh